Hello and welcome to another Excel VBA tutorial. In today's video, we are going to go over how to take a ex single Excel chart and export that chart to a Word document. So yes, we are continuing on our path where we are exporting different objects from Excel to a particular application. We've done PowerPoint, so now we're gonna move on to Word. Yes, very exciting. Okay, so the goal of this script is to take this chart right here and export that chart to a, to a Word document. So if you've seen my other videos related to PowerPoint, most of what we're gonna go through today looks very familiar. I mean, other than the syntax, the structure is relatively the same. And so well, if you've seen those videos, you're gonna look at this and be like, wait a minute, this isn't too confusing. Good, that's perfect then. That means you're understanding kind of what we're doing and how we're going about doing it, which is great. That's what I wanna hear. So. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna jump in our VBA editor. So if you don't know already to go in your VBA editor, you're gonna go up to the developer tab, go over here to the far left and click that visual basic icon. And then from here, what we're gonna do is create a new module. Well, I already have one open, so, but if you don't, you just right click modules or anywhere really within your project explorer. And then you can do insert and then module and then that will insert a new module for you. And then now that we have a module in here, we've got to do one more thing. So just like with PowerPoint, we have to create a reference to an object library. So that way we can manipulate those objects from within VBA, so within Excel VBA. And then also we get some added benefits that we can now leverage that model within IntelliSense so we can write our code a little bit faster. So we need to create a reference to the Word object library. Now to create a reference to this library, we're gonna go up to our toolbar right up here and we're gonna to click Tools, down to References. And then from here, you're now in the Reference Library. So now we can enable different libraries. Now I've used this library before, so it's up here at the top for me. But if you've never used it, you've gotta search for it. So how to search for it is you're gonna go down to M for Microsoft and then you're gonna to go to the W section. So it'll be somewhere right around here, um, but really what you're looking for is the Microsoft Word object library. Your number might be different than what you're seeing on mine. This number just references the actual version of Office that you have, so I'm on the latest version, so I have 16. You might see a 15 if you're on 13, and then if you're on 2010, you'll see a 14. To enable the library, you just check that box, and then now that it's been checked, it's enabled, and we can press OK. And now that we've done that, we can actually write our script. So I'm going to create a new sub procedure. I'm going to call it export chart to Word. And then the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create some variables, but these are going to house different Word objects. So I'm going to declare Word object variables. The first one that I'm going to declare is going to be called Word app. And as you guessed, this is going to house a Word application object. <clears throat> so Excel is an application within VBA. We can create other applications, but I wanna create a specific application. I wanna create the Word application. So I'm gonna create an object variable that will house this particular Word application. So this is what this variable will hold. It's gonna house my new Word application when I create it. But once I have an application, I've got to actually have some things in it that I can work with. Well, within Word, we have documents. So we work with documents within Word. Like in Excel, we have workbooks, and then within those workbooks, we have sheets. In our example, Word has documents. So we have to create a new document. So I'm going to declare another variable called Word Doc. And this is going to be a Word document. And so this will house that document. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna declare Excel object variables. And really what I'm creating a reference to is a, is a chart object. So I'm planning to take a single chart in my workbook and export it to Word. So I'm gonna create a new variable called chart. And then this will be a chart object. Now, if you've seen the PowerPoint ones, as you can tell, a little bit easier. You know, we don't have to create, create a slide or anything like that. We just got to take a document and an application. So a little bit easier. 
And then now that I've created my variables, I need to actual, actually create an instance of Word. So how do I do that? Well, I need to first create a new instance of Word. So I'm going to set my Word app variable equal to a new Word dot application. So a new instance of Word. Now when I create this instance of Word, it's going to be in the background, but I can't see it. I want to be able to see it. So I'm going to call the Word app again. And I'm going to call the visible property of that app. And I'm going to set that equal to true. So this will make sure that I can see my app. Now, just because I can see it doesn't mean it's going to be the main window in my system. So I want it to be the main window. So next, I'm going to call my Word app again, and I'm going to call the activate method. So this will bring it to the front of my screen for me, so that way I don't have to rearrange my windows. So when I run this script now, let's see what we get. Perfect. So I have an application, but it's pretty bare right now. There's nothing in it. There's no documents, but at least I have an application I can work with. So now that we've created our application, let's create a new Word document. So I'm going to set my Word doc variable equal to the Word app. And within my Word application, there is something called the documents collection. So this houses all my different document objects. So again, just like Excel, it has workbooks and we can have multiple workbooks in Excel. They, those workbooks live within the workbooks collection. Well, in Word, we have documents. And so we have multiple documents that we can have in Word and all those documents live within the documents collection. Now, the collection actually has a method called add and this will add a new document to that collection. So before I called this line, there were no documents. So basically it was empty. But after I call the add method, it will create a document. So when I run this now, I have my Word application and I have a document within my Word application. So now that I've done that, I need to create a reference to the chart that I want to export. So I'm going to create a reference to the chart I want to export. And so how do I do that? Well, I'm going to take that chart variable I declared up above. I'm going to go into the active sheet in my Excel application. And within every worksheet, there is something called the chart objects collection. So this is all the different charts that exist within my particular worksheet. And if I want to access just one of those charts, I have two ways I can do it. I can either pass through the name of my chart, so that's kind of the key method, or I can pass through the index. Well, the index is basically saying, well, in which order were these charts created? So if it's the first chart that was created, it has an index of one. If it was the second chart that was created, it has an index of two. Well, I'm going to use the index method in this example, and I'm going to pass through a two. And really all this is doing is it will reference this second chart for me. Well, I know that I had created this chart second, so I knew it had an index of two. Um, if I didn't, there's definitely properties that I could call or, or different ways I can handle that. Um, but really at this point, I knew it was two, so I'm just gonna pass through the two. And go back in my editor. And then once I do that, I need to copy my chart. Now, if you've seen the PowerPoint ones, you saw me do something like this. I would just call the chart object and then call the copy method. Well, unfortunately, this method will not work in Word. It will actually produce an error. And so what we have to do in this example is we have to do a different method. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the chart again. But within the chart object, there is something called the chart property. So that's just referencing the actual chart within the object itself. And then within the chart, there's something called the chart area. So that's the actual area that we can see within our chart. And then with that chart area, there's a copy method. So we can copy that chart area. So just to kind of demonstrate that again. Again, this is an object. And this object contains a chart. And then within that chart, there's an area. So all this little white space right here, everything inside this border is the chart area. And what I'm doing is I'm copying that chart area. Well, now that I've copied it, 
I need to paste it somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it in my Word document. So I'm going to paste into Word document. So how do I do that? Well, this is where it's a little bit different. So in PowerPoint, we had slides. So we would paste our objects onto a slide. Well, in a Word document, we paste it into the selection within my particular Word document. Now, that's one way of doing it. There are many ways to do it, and I will demonstrate those ways in later videos. But in this video, I'm just going to introduce the selection method. And really, what do I mean by the selection method? Well, if I go within my particular Word document, you see where my cursor is right here where that flashing light is? That is the active selection within my current Word document. So if I had multiple documents, what could happen then is I can have multiple selections. So each document has one selection and then the entire Word application itself has only one active selection. So that's the one when I open my Word application and the document that comes to the front, that's my active selection. So right now, document one is my active selection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, with the Word app, go to the selection that currently you have, the current active selection. And once you have that selection, I want you to call the paste special method. And then there's a couple parameters that I can pass through. Well, I'm going to paste my object as an OLE object. Well, with OLE objects, we can have links to those objects. So in other words, we can create a link between that particular object and Word back to my Excel workbook. Well, I want a link in my OLE object. So I'm going to set this property equal to true. And then I'm going to pass through the data type. So this says, how do you want me to paste this particular object? Well, if you go into it and I type W paste, I'm going to see all the different ways I can paste it. Well, in this example, I want an OLE object. And after that, I've done everything I need to do in order to paste my object into Word. So let's see what we get when we run this. Okay, perfect. So it looks like it copied everything over for me. Um, sometimes what can happen, I've had it happen sometimes, usually what happens is if I just close my Word document and reopen it, it all works again. Um, but I'm going to try to update this link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the values within this particular chart. So I'm going to change some of them. So I'll change this one to like 15,000. And then I'll put this one to 8,000, you know, something just so that way you can visually see that it changed. I'm going to go back into here. I'm going to update the link. Oh, and like I was expecting, of course, it didn't work. So usually how I work around this one is I'll just close my Word document. And then once I reopen it, the link for whatever reason works. I'm not really sure why that's happening at this point. If I get an answer to that, I'll explain it in the next video. But, um, I have found that if as long as I close the document and then reopen it, everything seems to be fine. I think it's just right after when it pastes for some reason, it kind of throws it off. I've noticed with Word, it's very unstable sometimes. So it's, it's really picky about when it wants to work and when it doesn't want to work. So I'll try to figure out different ways we can work with these kind of errors. But, you know, at this point, at least we can now take a particular object and we can put it within the actual Word application itself. So if you have any questions about what we did in today's video, you know, please put them down in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. Also make sure to like the video so that way other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that way you get regular updates as we release new videos. In the next video, we're going to go over how to take multiple chart objects within, my, within a particular Excel workbook and then export those chart objects into a Word document. So, that's for the next video. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks again.